Oh my goodness. Can you believe what you just saw? Yes, somehow, some way, Mahomes and the Chiefs win another Super Bowl here. Unbelievable stuff. One of the all time great games, one of the all time great, uh, you know, I don't know, seasons for the Chiefs. They were dead. Everyone was saying everyone should be fired. Uh, with a, I remember, uh, you know, going back a little bit around like week 17 or so, I gave them the fifth highest odds to win the Super Bowl. And everyone in the comments was like, What are you doing? You're an idiot. Why are they this high? I picked against them every single round and they proved me wrong every single time. Unreal run. Let's talk about. What happened? The good and the bad here in this game. What went wrong, but what was ultimately able to go right for them? Let's start off with this play. So what's going to happen here is this is man coverage. We saw a good amount of man coverage, maybe more than we thought we were going to see and during this game as the Chiefs a lot better against zone. The Niners typically play zone, but they also kind of, I think, looked around and said, well, let's play to their weakness, maybe not to our strengths. So that's what they're doing on this play. But what's more interesting on, or I shouldn't say more interesting, but another important aspect of this is right there, it was the kind of one of the marquee matchups we thought about going into this, which is Donovan Smith going up one on one against Chase Young. This is, you know, something where, let's just be honest. There's been some struggles with the pass blocking. Really, uh, the tackles in general have been uh, tough for the Kansas City Chiefs this season. You have Smith trying to block Chase Young one-on-one. -on -one. You see that Chase Young on this play is going to win this matchup pretty quickly. Gets an immediate pressure. So Mahomes is in trouble. But, you know, one thing I always talk about is it's never enough to just win a matchup. You need something else to go right. And down the field, the 49ers are covering the players that Mahomes is looking towards. And if you have nowhere to go with your first read and there's pressure coming quickly, really hard to make that work as a quarterback. As you see, Mahomes is going to not make it work. He gets sacked on that play. So, you know, great job by Chase Young, great job by the coverage unit, and not great job by the Kansas City Chiefs. And we knew this was going to be a weakness going into the game, and it certainly was. I mean, the offensive line was struggling. But going over here, we also saw kind of the Mahomes magic a little bit, right? Where it's a cover two man on this one. It's a third down and nine situation. And, you know, this was what got the Chiefs on the board, which I definitely think definitely had to feel a lot better if you're a Chiefs fan. And like, okay, finally, we know we're, you know, the Niners defense is human. But again, it's going to start off with a weird, I shouldn't say weird, just not a great block. This is one of the few times we saw Nick Bosa one-on-one. -on -one. It's against uh, Jawan Taylor on this play, the guy that went out and paid a bunch of money, hoping that he could be a real asset for them. However, as you see, Bosa is going to get around, and it looks like he stumbles a little bit, but either way, this is always a good thing for Mahomes when you're out of position. Mahomes is one of the best ever, uh, if, if not the best ever, if there's a way for him to get outside the pocket, and there is a way for him to get outside the pocket. So sometimes, uh, you know, it's again, it's just what makes pass rushing Mahomes so difficult is you have to get there immediately if you're going to make a move like this, because if not, well, watch what he's going to do. As you see, he is going to scramble out, and with this being man coverage, when he fires, there is an open receiver, and this is Justin Watson. Justin Watson is the guy who, again, I brought this up in one of my preview videos, he has the highest yards per route ran against man coverage out of any Chiefs receiver, more than Rasheed Rice, more than Travis Kelsey, uh, one of those weird things. Watson is able to make the catch here, and he's able to turn around and pick up a big gain. Listen, they didn't get a touchdown, but they at least got three points there, right? It was a big play in that. That, you know, in that game, I thought. But again, like I said, they didn't get a touchdown. It was something like this, which is going to be zone coverage. It's not like they weren't playing zone coverage. I just said we saw more man coverage than we thought we would see. But you definitely saw Fred Warner come through. Because again, no Dre Greenlaw here. But it really seemed like they were making a conscious effort to really take away the middle of the field. Force Kansas City outside the numbers where they're not as good. Watch as it's not Kelsey. They actually put Watson uh, over the middle, I think kind of trying to fool them, but that didn't work out. And, and you have two San Francisco players covering Watson. They're, they're covering the over the middle guy. And, you know, R Rasheed Rice is also going, you know, uh, underneath here. It looks like Mahomes maybe wants to look in that direction. You're going to see Mahomes take a step up, and he's ready to throw the football right here. And But, you know, you see that uh, Fred Warner actually steps in. He knows he, you know, uh, has help behind him now, so can't let Mahomes run with the football. So that's an issue. Also, uh, you have uh, Eric Armstead tracking down Mahomes, and there's nowhere for Mahomes to go with the football. Again, we always blame the offensive line when things go poorly, but this isn't the offensive line's fault, really. I mean, again, maybe you would have liked to see better blocks, but they gave him enough time to make a throw, but when the throw breaks down, well, that's where things become an issue. 
As you see, this leads to a sack there. For, not, not a huge sack, but a, I mean, a big sack in terms of the you know, way the game had gone, though, because it you know, creates a fourth down and it had to settle for a field goal, even if it's just a sack for one yard. So we definitely saw uh, a lot of frustration uh, at times, sometimes literally with, you know, uh, Kelsey getting mad at Andy Reid on the sideline, but a lot of times also just, you know, watching them play, not getting things done. In the first half, we did see some some flashes, like this play, which ultimately, uh, you know, there was a fumble right after, so it didn't work, but this is a crazy play by Mahomes. This is just an insane play. I don't know why Mahomes even thought to do this. So it's a deep route against cover two zone. That's the situation. McCall Hardman is the guy running a deep route, and usually these kind of routes are just like more setup routes, which is part of why McCall Hardman, kind of their fast guy who doesn't do a lot else, is the guy running this route. Watch as when Mahomes takes the snap, he runs a play action, rolls out towards the top of the screen, and right here, again, on one hand, this isn't really open. It's double coverage. On the other hand, Mahomes just kind of banking on the idea that he can over, he can throw over the two safeties. As you see, Mahomes takes a chance, and this is one of those great examples of if it doesn't work out and, you know, the safety on the bottom of the screen got his head turned around earlier and gets the interception, everyone's like, what a dumb throw. Why are you throwing in a double coverage? Stupid job by Mahomes. But when it works out, you're a genius, and, well, he's a genius on that play. But it's also just a great throw. I mean, that's kind of... You know, the other aspect is you become a better decision maker when you have more arm talent, right? Uh, when you can make the throws, if someone else who didn't have the arm talent makes that throw, they're now a worse decision maker because it wouldn't have worked out as well. The interception to start the second half was another one where it's like Mahomes being put in a bad situation, although definitely not doing a lot of great stuff here. So here's what's going to happen. It's a, uh, you know, cover two zone and you see the route. It's Kelsey's route. Uh, again, I believe this is zone. That actually might be man, but either way, Kelsey's getting double teamed he's getting extra attention right they're taking him away they're making clear effort to not give you the easy stuff to Kelsey Mahomes takes the snap he's going to eventually step up in the pocket and throw off balance here and right as he's throwing his right one Kelsey is getting open so that's kind of an important detail to note here so uh, again I'll show it one more time you see Mahomes takes the snap he looks over uh, and it's going to be an off balance throw and listen we always talk about Mahomes, one of the best to ever do it at off-platform throws. Probably the best to ever do it, right? He's probably number one, but he is still a human at the end of the day. As you see, this is a missed throw. And like, listen, he didn't know exactly where Kelsey was going to end up. Like, that might have made it look worse. But even if Kelsey was going exactly where Mahomes was trying to hit, like, he wasn't going to run that quickly that down the field. Like, he's not, you know, he's human as well, right? That's a missed throw. It just was. He, uh, Mahomes overthrew it. It ends up in an interception, which didn't exactly cost them, right? Because they were able to get a stop right after that. However, then there was a punt that got them, you know, uh, the Chiefs then had to start the next drive at the one, and they kind of had to deal with that and weren't able to eventually get much going and had to punt the ball back away on a fourth and one. So definitely uh, not an ideal play there by Mahomes. Going over here, this was a, a fun play. So it's going to be a, uh, it's actually a quarterback run, but it's going to be the edge rusher, Nick Bosa on this play. So, you know, you're going to fake as though it's a handoff and then Mahomes going to keep the ball and run it towards the top of the screen. You see Lamar Jackson do this a lot, right? Uh, you know, Running quarterbacks do this, but Mahomes, they typically don't have design runs with him. They, you know, he'll scramble, but usually he doesn't do a lot of design runs. So when this play begins, I mean, you see how far Nick Bosa is committed towards stopping a handoff on this play. I mean, you know, in general, this is typically... The way you usually do this read is you look at the edge rusher. If he's looking towards the running back, then you make sure that you keep the ball yourself. If he's playing towards the outside, you give the ball to your running back. This looked like a pure designed run for me, but, you know, a really smart one. Bosa's definitely committed. Mahomes instead runs towards the top of the screen. Looks like a safety missed him as well and able to pick up, uh, you know, a, a lot of yards. And that set up a field goal drive, which did, I feel like, help things. It kind of helped uh, get them under control a little bit. And what we saw really, I thought... Uh, once the Chiefs kind of started to come back, you know, they had the touchdown, obviously, that was set up due to a short field. But what I saw was them kind of understanding the defense that the Niners were running. Like, look at, a, you know, you hear a, a couple of examples of what happened. The touchdown was an example of that, but also something like this where you see what the Niners are doing. They're showing blitz. What are we doing? A lot of stuff. You know, who knows what's going to be happening? They're going to just drop back into zone coverage. So they're trying to fool Mahomes, and it just wasn't working. Watch as you see that Mahomes reads the play so quickly, gets the ball over to Kelsey, who is way too open in that situation. And I think kind of what happened sometimes was when you focus so much on a disguise, well, then you can't fully focus on covering a guy like Kelsey, right? This plays another example where you see, you know, Romo brought it up on the broadcast as well, but it, you're, they're selling as though it's a, 
you know, single safety deep coverage, but it's not going to be. Watch as that safety actually moves towards the top of the screen, another safety runs uh, deep uh, towards the bottom of the screen. But what this means is that this route that otherwise wouldn't have been open, there should have there would have been a corner that's covering deep if it was just single safety deep. Since it's uh, two safety deep coverage, now it is open. And again, Mahomes is just noticing this. He does get the ball over there. They're able to pick up a big completion. Really good job by Mahomes. But this is what Mahomes does, right? So you got to be more careful than that, I think. However, this play happened, which was definitely a, I mean, this was a huge play in the game because you wanted to take the lead. It's a third down and goal situation, and it's going to be what we saw kind of for, you know, the entire first half at the very least. Watch as Mahomes takes the snap. He looks over first, doesn't love what he sees. They're trying to get the ball open to Kelsey, it looked like, but San Francisco all over it. So Mahomes has time, looks over the middle, again, doesn't love what he sees. Well, now what do you do? Well, you're Mahomes. Make something happen. You're only three yards out. However, I want to bring your attention somewhere else. Nick Bosa. And, you know, a lot was made of the 49ers, certain players not giving effort. And it wasn't about Bosa, but he was, you know, that was a thing that was mentioned. Well, watch what he's going to do here. As you see, he is going to, you know, get knocked down, but gets back up. And that does enough to, even though he missed the tackle, Mahomes had to cut back toward the inside. I think Mahomes scores a touchdown if Bosa does not get up quick enough. And also, good job by everyone else to make it work. They're able to, you know, uh, hold them to a field goal to tie the game. Uh, you know, we didn't know. Is that going to be the last chance that they got? So then let's go over here. Because, you know, the Chiefs had a lot of really good stuff to get to this point. It was a great drive by Mahomes. Again, doing more of what we kind of talked about earlier. Just doing, taking what the defense gave him, knowing what was happening. Uh, but they had a chance here. So first down and 10. Travis Kelsey on uh, Fred Warner. I mean, about as big of a marquee matchup as you can get one-on-one -on, -one on the outside, basically saying, let's throw it here and let's hope that we either, you know, uh, get a touchdown or an incompletion. Don't want the, you know, interception and, you know, a tackle and bounds is actually not the end of the world. They have a timeout, but still. As you see, Mahomes takes a, a low snap, some weird snaps in this game, but throws it over and uh, good defense by Fred Warner, really perfect defense. Uh, you know, Kelsey not able to make the play and because of that, it goes to overtime. But then in overtime, I mean, some some amazing plays, really some amazing, I mean, this one, first off, it's a fourth down and one situation. So, okay, season on the line. I mean, if they don't convert here, that's it. Ball game is over and the Kansas City Chiefs, uh, see, you know, their, their season is over. The 49ers are champions of the world. You see, I am highlighting, uh, you know, Nick Bosa on this play. Why am I looking at Nick Bosa? What, what about Nick Bosa in particular? Well, I gotta be honest, he, he, this is not a smart play by Bosa on this one. Watch him completely fall for the run fake, which, you know, Tony Romo said it best, like, you know, it's this, it's Patrick Mahomes, the season on the line, they're not handing the ball off here, they're just not, and, and I get why, uh, you know, you think about it, but I don't, you know, uh, I think you gotta sell on Mahomes, and if they run the ball, trust your teammates are gonna make the play, but great, great job by the Chief, that's why you still run that play, that's why you still do that. Then later, this play, so what would happen here is this is a third and six, so again, it's essentially second down, right? You're not going to uh, punt and just end the game, so you know you have two plays, but the Niners are going all out blitz, They're, and I have a feeling if it worked, they would have done it again here, but you see Rasheed Rice's route is perfect against this coverage. So Mahomes, once he sees they are in fact set sending everyone, he flips the ball to Rice, and at this point, again, uh, you got to give credit to Kelsey down the field a little bit for what he's going to do. Watch him kind of get in the way a little bit. Rice is able to pick up enough yards. He gets the first down, converts, and they are they are able to, you know, uh, get another first down. Don't have to worry about a fourth down in this situation. Of course, the touchdown at the end, which I mentioned uh, at the end of this, uh, you know, I, I did a whole video about that already, so check that out. But just, yeah, just an all-time great Super Bowl. Uh, they, you know, uh, just an incredible job by the Chiefs. And yeah, Mahomes in the GOAT conversation, fully in the GOAT conversation at this point with three championships already. It's been one of the best, maybe the most impressive run we've ever seen. Back-to-back -back Super Bowls. Yeah, just great stuff. So uh, yeah, you know, Taylor Swift fans already have a championship to celebrate. Good for them. Why not? Uh, that's what I think about all of this. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Always love hearing from you. And of course, as always, thanks for watching.